Yep. Sir, how long you use this computer? Did you say how long I've been using it? Or Hello? Did you say how long I've been using it? Okay, I've been using it for maybe over a year now. Alright, no problem sir. So is, it, is your computer on? It is on now, yeah. Okay, and uh, is it ready to use? It is, yeah. Okay, so now you look into your keyboard. In your keyboard, extreme left hand side, down corner. Can you see the CTRL control key? CT... RL? Yes, extreme left hand side down corner in your keyboard. Okay, yeah. Can you see the CTRL key? I can, yes. Okay, and next to the CTRL key, which key do you see? Next to the CTRL key, I said FN. FN, and next to the FN key, can you see the Microsoft Windows logo key? I can, yeah. Okay, I like Romeo, right? I've done. Now what can you see? Now what can you see your computer screen? Run. Run, yes. And in the run box, can you see the long white panel where you can write something? Yep. Okay, you write over there. Letter E, E like England. E for England. V for Victoria. Then again, E E like England. E for England. Then N N like Netherlands. N for Netherlands. Then T T like Tiger. T for Tiger. Then V T like Victoria. V for Victoria. Double for water. And then R, R like Romeo. R for Romeo. Yep. Okay, you double, you just spell it out whatever written over there. E V E N T V double R. Okay, cheers. Hello. Hello. Yes, hi sir. My name is David Clark. I'm the senior Microsoft certified technician on the floor. How are you? I'm not too bad, sir. Junior colleague explained to you where to find the problems on your computer. So can you tell me where exactly are you on the screen? I am in run at the moment. Okay, what have you written over there? Can you let me know? Event VWR. Yes, that is absolutely correct. And that will be one word, not two words. Okay, do not give any spaces in between. Yeah. Now click on OK. Then click on OK. Yep. Well, I, I click on OK, but nothing comes up on this. OK, it said add snapping and OK, yeah. You're saying I should see what? Even viewer on the top. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Yes, that is absolutely correct. Now, the event viewer is a page where you can view all the events that have occurred on your computer, whether it be good events or bad events, all right? Yeah. Now, focus on the left part of your Event Viewer page. You will be able to see some options like Event Viewer, Local, Custom Views, Windows Logs, Application and Service Logs. Can you see them? I can see it all. Yes. Now, double-click on Custom Views. 
custom views. Double click on that. Yeah. After you do that, then and there will be a new pop up arriving as administrative events. Can you see that? Yeah. Click double click on administrative events and tell us what do you get of the screen. Just give me a minute. I just click on it, it's starting, it's okay. spinning. Yeah, I can see a lot of errors. Yeah. Yes, that is absolutely correct. Do you see some yellow color warning reports and some red color error reports over there? Yeah, I can see only red. Okay, only red. Now these are the error reports and warning reports that are occurring inside the operating system of your computer. Okay. Our junior colleague told you what, what happens is that whenever you are going online, at that point of the time there are some certain unwanted programs and some malicious junk files which automatically gets downloaded into the computer without your knowledge and they malfunction with the different softwares of the computer, which not only reduces the speed and the performance of the computer, but it also allows certain users to have an unauthorized access into the computer, alright? Oh, okay. So these are the wrong events going on in your computer. As you can see on the right side, you'll be able to see the date and time of the uh, events that occurred. Can you see the date and time? I can see, yeah. It's all there. Now, you'll also see that there are some certain dates and times when you did not even use the computer and this error took place. Yeah, I can. They're working on their own in the operating system. You can see there perfectly that there are some times that you were not even using the internet, neither the computer, but even then the error reports were happening, right? Yeah. Now what you need to do is look at the top. Beside administrative events, you'll be able to see the number of events. You just need to tell us how many number of events do you see that are going wrong inside your operating system? Up the top where it said nine, no, one, zero, Nine six. I think zero nine six. That means you are saying that the events occurred is more than thousand. Yeah. Oh my God! So your computer is totally corrupted. These are so many. Uh, I thought there will be only around two hundred events that have gone wrong, but you are saying that it's more than thousand, which means you can totally take a guess how many events are going wrong and how badly your computer is corrupted, right? Ah, that's what I'm assuming. But I'm a bit confused. How do you know? How did you find out that my computer have all these problems without me? How, and how did you get my number? Sorry. How did you get my number to okay. to, to call though? Uh, I'm saying you that. The thing is that there is a very unique license ID inside your operating system which is known as the com Computer License Security ID. That ID has been sending reports in the Windows server. Now, once we got more than 20 reports in the Windows Tower, our senior Microsoft certified technicians did a research on that computer license ID and provided us your phone number. That is how we are calling you. Now, regarding the computer license ID, I would like to tell you that it is a very unique ID and only two people on this whole planet know about that ID. One is you, the owner of the computer, and the other one is me, a Microsoft certified technician. This ID cannot be stolen or be hacked by any hackers across the entire globe until and unless some of the major Microsoft corporated services to protect your operating system get stopped running inside your operating system. Once if they stop running, we instantly get a report in the Windows server. That is how we got your Windows license ID and from your Windows license ID, our network researchers researched your number and gave it to us, okay? Oh, but... Now what we require you to do is just, just click on any of the errors, just single click on any of the error and try to delete it. Press the right button of your mouse key and try to delete it. If it doesn't work, then press the delete key from your keyboard and look if it gets deleted. Okay, I will. But before I, I carry on any further, I'm still a bit confused as how you get my number. Would would it cause me any money to? Would this cause me any money? No, 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 absolutely, absolutely not, sir. You're speaking to a Microsoft certified technician right now. But Microsoft yes. doesn't. But Microsoft doesn't have my phone number. Yes. My phone number is not registered with anyone. How do you get all this? Yes, obviously, obviously you're right, sir. But 
This computer license key has been registered in the Windows Server and our network researchers did a research on your computer license ID and gave us your phone number, which is why today we have to call you and inform you about the problems. Now, if you take a closer look into the problems, you will know exactly what we are speaking about. I think you... Can I delete one error? I think you're just an idiot, isn't it? Think about it. How could you get my number? How would you know anything about my computer? Sir. Come on, man. You're, you're an idiot. I just told you. All right, all right, all right sir. What you I need to do is, I'll just show you with the computer license ID. I'm going to read it to you. You just need to cross-check that ID on your computer. Only then you will know what we are speaking about. Does that sound good enough for you, sir? You is an idiot. I, I just waste maybe about 14 minutes of your time. I wish everyone would do something like this. You is an idiot. That's what you do go around scamming people. Come on, curse me. Tell me. Cur I'm sure, I'm sure, sir, I, I even tell you that this is going to cost you money. I, it doesn't matter what you tell me, but I know what you're doing. Come on, curse me. You want to curse me. You want to curse me, do it. No. Come on, curse me for wasting your time. Because that's what it's going to lead to. Our company, some ethics and protocols, sir. <laughs> we are not like the bogus calls uh, that you get every day. Okay, I, I'll stay here and, and you, keep, more? you keep talking and I keep recording you and I'll put it on YouTube. You bloody idiot. What, what will happen if you do that? What's going to happen? Just... So people can see what's taking place, so they will know when they get called like this, yeah. that and, it, they, they, shouldn't, they shouldn't give you any information. You want me to explain to you what would happen? I, you, I would give you all the details. I, I would delete the things off my computer. You would, eventually, you would eventually tell me to give you some details, and then you would get control of my computer. You would delete some of the things on my computer. Then you would say I should I have to pay for you to 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 give me back control of my own computer. You is an idiot. But like I said, I'm gonna put it on YouTube just to educate some people about our souls like you, you know? You is, you is I am a Nigerian. <laughs> trying to, to, to embarrass me to tell me that I sound like a Nigerian, like he think that's an insult. I am a black man, I have no problem sounding like a Nigerian. <laughs> People, this is what you got to do. These idiots try to call and scam you. You have to be clever. No one would be able to get your phone number if they are from Microsoft. How is that even possible? 